Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing another cargo run. As part of our cargo hauling series that we're doing, I've been working out on some routes. So I've done the small starter ship cargo run and the medium hull A which is sort of a crossover between a uh, small ship and uh, medium ship. And then the medium ships go up then up until you, you know, the raft uh, uh, around 90 cargo space up until the where you get to where the hundreds are. And then there you've got the crossovers then from the hundred up to the two hundreds. So what I've done is uh, Kill Thanis has a C2 and I don't really have access to the C2 until he's on so we did some runs in the c2 and found that we were struggling to get the c2 filled up uh, so i thought i'd relook again at the run that we was doing and see if i could maybe find some different runs uh, the run that we was actually doing was trying to fill up with laranite now we know that a lot of people try and fill up with laranite so uh, it makes it harder because resources are, sh are shared between all the servers so even though someone might not be at Bezdek when you're picking up Laranite somewhere else on a different server someone might be doing it so you're constantly um, getting the stock taken down and I think when we tried it with the C2 a couple of times with the most we got to was around 200 and the C2 is like around 600 in cargo so 696 or 669 whichever one it is so what I've done is I was just planning some routes and just playing around with different routes and seeing what I could come up with and different types of um, cargo. So I th thought what I'd do is I'd just practice some routes, have a look at what the, the state of play was with the, these different routes. The only ship I had access to that was close to that sort of cargo was the Carrick, which has about 460-ish cargo. So I thought I'd play around with that and maybe grind... Uh, to get to four and a half million to maybe pick up the Caterpillar, which has around 500,000, uh, 500 cargo ish around that sort of area. So then that I don't have to um, wait till we've got Kilthanis on from the organization to be able to have access to the C2. There's no point in me getting a C2 if we've already got one in the organization. So um, a Caterpillar would be good. So this is me just going through the route. And the reason I'm putting this one up is because. Halfway through this run, I get a real good surprise. And it's worth watching because it's some really good information. So let's get into this, guys. So here I am on the um, SC Trade Tools. I picked the Carrick and I picked, I only had 800,000 credits. So that's what I put as my thing. I'm going to, you know, I was trying to grind, get up to that four, uh, four million. And people from the org started putting some money into my one saw. So what I was doing is I was looking at different things I could look at. And I know medical supplies can be hard. So, uh, so you can get that at 1575 and sell it at 1925. So you're making about three and a half profit on that, around that sort of much. So per unit, you're going to make about three and a half. Now with Lar Laranite, you can make five profit if you get it right. You can buy Laranite at, uh, at 25 uh, but I found we're buying it at 27.7 and then you can sell it at 31. So if we're buying it at 27 and selling it at 30 to 31, we're only making three to four profit on that. So it's the same with the medical supplies, about three and a half that you make on that if you're buying it at, at the decent price. So what I was looking at is what else can we look at that could have around that sort of profit of around three, four and um, people probably not going to be doing as much. So what I'm going to do is, if you want to see how many of your cargo you can get, just put your cursor over, the, um, so there's two zeros at the end, and then whatever is before your cursor is what you'll get. So that would have been third, um, th um, 320 on your cargo there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on medical supplies and change, and just I'm going to flick up to the top and see what other stuff we can pick up. So I picked aluminium and, and hit submit and it'll say, so you can buy it for 1.1 and sell it for 1.3. So you're only going to make 2.2 uh, 2 profit on that. So I went to Agricom 
And that one sells at 22.5 um, and you can sell it at 27.5. So that's about a five um, credit profit, which is the same as Laranite. Now there's only a few places do it. This, this does 50 cases, that does 180, that does 28, that does 180 and that does 50. So it's enough to fill my uh, carrot up. Um, so what I can do is I can go for this and see how we do with this on this run. So I'm going to set off at, um, and go to um, Crusader DMR first and pick up at the two places at DMR at the same moon. And then I'll go to um, Microtech, pick up there, and then I'll head back up to Art Corp and sell it all at Art Corp after I pick the last one up. So potentially, you could be making five profit on each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm over at DMR now. I'm just going to go to um, Kudri Bore and just pick up my first lot basically, and just see what we can do with it. So we're supposed to be, be able to buy this now at 22.5. So we'll have a look, see what we do buy it at, and see if um, there's even enough stock there. Now the Carrick is a bit sluggish. I know the Carrick isn't a, um, a cargo running ship, but like I said, I don't have access to the C2 and I'm trying to grind to get the money to get um, a Caterpillar so I can do some proper big cargo runs. But I, I was doing this run and I thought it's just too good to not share what happened halfway into it. into it I'm not going to push too uh, much on the, the um, traveling unless it's like a really far place so there's two places here on DMR that I've got to go to which is this Kudra ore and then a mining facility later on I tend to try and be a little bit more careful on the moons because the gravity is a lot less So now we've got to find somewhere to park. No landing pads or anything like that. It's like trying to park a whale. Just hit lamp posts and sides of buildings and I'm not the best of flyers. That I'll do. Bouncing around. <laughs> so I was on the lower deck of the coat there, in the habitation area. So I'm going to use this little lift here, get down to the cargo area, and then out the door. I do like the carrot, but I want a more I want a, a dedicated hauler. And like I said, there's no point in buying a C2 if if Kilthanis already has one. Kilthanis has the C2 because he bought the Banu Merchantman and that was his loaner with that and the Defender. So obviously when that comes out, I think we hear it's coming out around June, July next year. So when that does come out, obviously we're going to do a, a video on that and the tour around that. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification guys if you want to see the video when that drops. I absolutely love the um, just the sights of, of what we do like it's such a beautiful game. 
So I've never been to this place before. So it's going to be new to me. Like, I've never seen a um, machine there like that. Never been to a place like this with all these, these things here. Always got to do a bit of looting. Put the arms on and stick that in the local. Just have a look around. See what else is here to loot. I'm not really going to do too much looting in here. Uh, on this run. Um, some legs there. Nice. Some more arms. Just stick them in the local. Uh, two helmets. Little grey box. We'll stick the pants in the local. I'm going to grab a water. And then we'll have a look at this last room. Nothing really in here. So this is where packages will be for dropping and dropping off and that. So where's the console I'm looking for to buy? Stock. There she is. So it's going to buy Slip McCarrick and we're going to take the Agricum. Agri. Agricium. Or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not too sure how you say it. And we're buying that at 23.5. So it's already 1.25 1, uh, 1 down on the normal price or 1.5 down on the norm no one down on the normal price which means we're only going to get four if we can sell it for the full amount but obviously we didn't get the whole amount there we only got a little bit so it looks like agricum agrisium um maybe a commodity other people are trading as well a lot but we'll see on the whole run see what we can get anyway now this is five stops basically that I would be doing. Let's go under it then. Look at that sight, it's such a good sight. Screenshot moment. Always taking the leaf out of Ollie's book. <laughs> See a good screenshot, try and take it. I'm sure there's a screenshot in there somewhere. So let's get back on the ship and um, head off to the next place. It's the same place, same moon. This is where we are. Dema. So into the cargo section and just grab the lift. Now there is some ladders just to the right. Um, you didn't, if I didn't go through that door there, there's some ladders just to the right that I could have gone on, but it takes me all the way up to the technical deck and then I've got to go down. So I use this little lift here. Because I don't want to be flying from the top, te uh, from the top deck. Command center area. So let's get on to this and let's select the next location, which is going to be Schumann Mining Facility. I think it's the Arpcourt Mining Area 141 I'm going to. Just drag that round with my mouse button. There it is. I've got mine in 141. So let's move. Let's go. Because it's a, uh, a mining facility, the next one, they'll be in uh, an armistice zone where we can loot, but I'm not really going to loot. And there should be a landing pad there as well.
So here we go. Around the planet. I think this is going to be a dark area now. No, looks like we're still in the uh, sun, so that's good. I don't like being in the dark. Look at that view. That's just... There's my little directional points are coming at me. There from the left. ourselves into this. The views are just absolutely stunning. I put my gear up there because I wanted to get a screenshot. Slowly does it. Get into this. So again, we're going to look here now at the Agris. Ag <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Agrisium. And um, see if we can get. So here we're supposed to get 180 cases. We'll see if that happens. I don't think it's going to. But it's something we're going to look at. At least this time we've got a pad to land on. Although it's not a big pad. Like the normal big massive ones you can get. But I think we should be fine because where the, ge the landing gear is on the carrick. Let's move it back a bit. That, that one's gone through the ground, but that's fine. Engines offline. Okay, let's head into this facility and pick up what we can. on the pad. That's all good. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Every so often it just does that. I jump off ship and it seems to um, select my thing. I don't know why it does it. So a red box there we can loot, and a red box there we can loot. That's about as far as I've gone. So let's select the Carrick, Agrisium. Now we can we get? So 44 of a possible 180. So it does look like other people are taking this. And we're going to get it at 24.13, which is just short of two um, loss on it. So it's looking like Ag um, Agrisium is going to be a lot like um, at Lara and I in that a lot of people are going to be moving it around. Set my local. I always throw stuff in my local. Sometimes I forget to put it back on my ship, but I'm not bothered because um, 
I'll pick them up at other times when I come to one. Because they'll be there, unless it's a server reset, obviously. Even though it's a rubbish white suit, it still helps now and then to have it, just in case. Let's have another look, see if it's fingered. No. So that hasn't refreshed. So at the moment, we've got 55 units of a possible 460-ish. So we're still like 400 short because because uh, we didn't, wasn't able to get all of that then. So it looks like almost that this Agrisium is um, not really a, a, a viable one, like like Laranine. Unless unless you get lucky and you can get it. Um, and, and a full cargo, then it's going to be a lot of moving around to try and get little bits and bobs. And are you going to make enough money in that time? When in the medium ships and the small ships, you can definitely earn by moving each time, you can definitely earn a good chunk of money uh, around 150,000 to 180,000 with loot in in about an hour. Now, the possibility of selling, if you can get Laranite at 25 and sell it at, uh, the, uh, at 30 and get the 5 profit, there's a, there's a possibility of, with the C2, 400,000 profit in around 20 minutes of running. Because you would get it from near the Hurston area, um, Bed's Deck and the Than, and then sell it in Hurston's Lawville. So about a 20 minute journey. But the demand for Laranite is high, so a lot of people are moving it. And like I said, we was finding that we was getting at 27.27 or 27.7, whichever one it was like, it would vary between the two. So my next one, I'm going to head over to Microtech and the, I'm going to head to um, Shubin Mining Facility. SMC A8 for the next run. Now this one's a 50,000, um, uh, 5,000, which is 50 cases, if we can get a full load. Now I'm going to push this on. I'm not going to have you see the whole journey. And this is, I've come out back in because I saw that then come up the journal alert, saw so price journal alert. So if you go down to journal and then scroll down, it doesn't put it at the top for you. You have to scroll down. And you'll see the commodity price alerts. And then we can have a look at this and see what's come up. So here at this, this distilled overstock of distilled spirits. But this one's interesting. An overstock of medical supplies. And they're saying they're selling it at 16, which is basically one from what we would be buying it, or half from what we would be buying it. And its location is at Anvik Research Outpost, Riari. And that's over at Microtech where we're coming now. So what I did is I'll jump back into SC Trade Tools and I'll have a proper look at where we're going. So if I pick medical supplies, There we are. And submit that. Then we can see the places. So you can buy it at 15.75 and sell for 19.37. So it's only, even if we get it at 16, then literally it's only like 0.25 loss. So we could be getting a good three, which is a real good amount 
uh, three profit per unit. That's a good amount. So because they're overstocked, we'll find there, you can see there, the the Riari um, and Vic research outpost has 200,000 units. So that's more than going to, that's it's 2,000 um, SCU that she's going to more than fill our ship. You know, we could maybe do two runs of that if we needed to. We know we're going to fill that up if they've got overstock. So we're going to head there instead. That's going to be the better one to do now because it looks like the Agrixium is um, not yielding what we need. So what a bonus of finding some medical supplies overstock. Now, this is the, the thing about looking at your commodities thing as it comes up because you might be on your way to somewhere and find that's the, you know, you, you, you got a, a, a bonus come up like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look where I can sell it. Uh, so it needs to be able to sell 50,000 units, which is 500, which is more than what I can pick up. And I wanted to do it around the microtech area. So I need to look at the microtech area. And, and what we need is somewhere that's selling 50,000 units like that in the Microtech area, which means I've got to go to the Trade and Development Division in New Babbage. And we should be able then to sell all of the cargo in one go. So, there we go. So I'm just going to have a quick um, look. I'm going to set the where we was going and reset the to, re, to the Riari and Vic Research Place, which is there at the top here. So I'm going to set that route instead. And we're going to forget the the aggressive on one that we was doing. So I'll head over to Kalipi now. this base now and hopefully we can pick up this overstock and get a good price on it so that's the surprise um, looking at that commodity and finding that there was an overstock so it's it's definitely worth um, keeping an eye on that so what I'm going to do is once I get down here and pick up this stock and then I'm going to go over to New Babbage and sell that and then what I'll do at the end is I'll put up the numbers and to see whether it was worth the actual run in a big ship or is it better just to stick to medium ships or low, uh, small ships Like somebody else is here in a star lift to see two. So I don't know how much room the star lifter has. Not too sure. Uh, oh, it's the Hercules star. Yeah, so it could be. Oh, it's, it's 600 knots. So they could be here picking up that overstock as well. But we're here now, so let's see what we what we can get from it. Now it says that we can buy it at 16 per unit. So we'll have a see what we get when we get down here. Don't rush in. Because he's gonna probably on the big pad, which means I'm gonna have to take the smaller pad. Is he on the big pad or is he on the small one? Looks like he's actually on the small one. Mm -hmm. 
It's a big ship. Big old ship. Yep, coming down a bit faster. Oh, straight into the post. Touchdown! Let's turn them engines off. Let's go and see what the situation is. So this is saying that they are understock, so they're going to sell it at 18 something. But I think the, that um, place is only a, a selling at uh, a maximum of a thousand, and then you've got to wait. So I'm going to stick with selling it over at New Babbage. And just hope that when we get to New Babbage, we get it for the full price of 19 whatever it is, 19 something. 19.25, I think. Well, he keeps doing that to me. Let's go to the trading one. If you want to know which one the trading console's on, it's, it's got that big spike sticking out of it, that um, orange thing. So you know that's the trading one. And as you come to the door, it says storage on it. You can see the orange thing on the top of that one. And then above the door, it says storage. So that's how you know which one you need to go to. So it's already cycled because someone's in there. Haven't got the lean there, I've got the lean. There he is. Nice suit. Let's see what he's left me been doing some looting there. Oh, you left an orange, you left a red box there. So let's have a look. So we're buying it at 15.96, which is not too far from what the original price is. And we can fill our stock up. 402 units for 640. So we'll buy all of that. Fill the cargo. So that's it. We're full. Nothing we can do now apart from go and sell this. So let's go and sell this. Don't know where he's gone. Hopefully he hasn't gone onto my ship and gonna shoot me in the back of the head. I left my um, anger open. So as a tip guys, don't leave your anger open. Someone did that once when we was in um, Port Olasar, I think it was. Me and that and me and Kilthanis. And we uh, stole someone's ship, took it for a cruise. And they wasn't happy. They showered us, told us to take it straight back. <laughs> so we did. Because we didn't want to be griefers. But we wanted to learn them a lesson. Don't leave your ship open. And then I go and do it. Because I'm silly. So there's all the sweet, sweet cargo, guys. Three rooms of sweet, sweet cargo. Medical supplies. Some of the Agrisium as well. Okay, so let's get in this left and let's go on get this stuff sold. So at the end, I'm going to stick up what I bought everything for, what I sold it all for, and then make an assessment was it worth? Was it worth it? Would I have been better off with a medium ship or a small ship rather than carting the whale around? So he's gone in his, his uh, star, star lifter, whatever it is, star, I don't know what it is. Star lifter, C2 Hercules. I play this game, I've been playing it for, for, for four months and I still don't know half the ships, <laughs> the names of them. I was calling, uh, Another ship, a staff error the other day, and it wasn't even a staff error. Okay, so let's go through this. I always check people. Two 
star citizens going about our business. Okay, let's line this up. So I pushed it on. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to head over to Microtech now and uh, New Babbage. Upside down house, Engines and that's the main city of the planet, basically. Looks like it's night time at New Babbage. It is. And we're upside down. So to find uh, the airport in our space point New Babbage, what you're gonna look for is a massive line that goes across the water. Not that one there because you can't see the lights on the top of the thing, but there's like three like big uh, pillars with lights on them. You see them there in the distance, just on their own across the water, and that's your uh, uh, spaceport basically. I'm fighting with this thing at the moment. Let's do this. pushed it on too much, I'm sort of trying to keep as much as I can in it, so you can see like the run, apart from the massive um, quantum jumps, I've sort of tried keeping as much as I can in it. And that's another thing to look out on the uh, spaceport, the three towers with the red lights on and then a bunch of white lights underneath. I have got a video out if anyone is struggles, anyone is struggling with uh, spaceports. If you look through our channel, there's a there is a, a whole like section on how tos, and one of them is uh, how to find all the spaceports in the night and the day. Bank. And the thing is, is with my with new Babbage one, it doesn't until you get close, it doesn't show you where you gotta go. You have to get really close to it. Raven dust in a carrick. Someone in a carrick. 
Carrick. So there's my landing pad there to the left. On top of one of the pillars. I've never landed in one of the pillars before. This will be the first time. Steady does it. You can see it's the there's a big one up in there now. There's been times where I've landed these open top ones and the carriage just doesn't fit, it literally scrapes itself down the wall. I'm considering looking at um, sticks at some point. Um, I mean, I've already spent a bit of money on the game now so I think it's just myself a break and then I'll start looking at some sticks. So I see some people that use sticks and absolutely ace of flying, so I reckon it'd be good. I use a gamepad. So there we are, cargo's down, cargo's safe. Warning, you're That's it now. Now, him telling me that, he's telling me I'm blocking a, a flight bay. If the procedure doesn't start counting down, then don't worry about it. If the procedure starts counting down, then obviously you're going to get um, impounded. So just be aware of that. But it's not a big issue, to be honest with you. I think it's a bug in the game where he does that. So we go down into the uh, the exit. Let's get up the lifts and put the ship away, and then we'll head over to New Babbage uh, Plaza, the Commons, and go and sell this this cargo. See what we get for it. where all the cargoes hit held on this. ship away. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle the retrieval system. Where creative innovation meets innovative creativity. Please visit us. So I'm going to 
do a thing at the end, how long it took me with all the travel and um, all that stuff and then see what we earned at the end. Now, it was for the medium ships, it was around 180-ish. And for the small ship, it was around 150-ish an, an hour. 1,000 an hour. So we'll see what this one yields for us. So we're just going to wait for this train. into the commons. I say I don't really want to be pushing it on too much. So my head tracker, using my head tracker. Now you get some real nice immersive immerse immersion from the head tracker. It's really nice. Sometimes it can be a little bit annoying. You know, you're looking down at your phone or, or your keyboard or something and, and and it's just it does the same thing. So let's get on this train, let's get over to the common. times I can say it. So here we are, commons, with all that purple glow. You know you're in the commons. We're going to look for that little green exit sign there. And we're going to head up. I would get lost in here. I'm gonna go in here. This song here that plays in here. I made a song with the same vocal called Circles. Yeah. <laughs> so it always, it always makes me smile when I get to this. Um, Face Boy, if you ever want to hear any of my music um, or our music, uh, go check Face Boy or We Are Face Boy on uh, SoundCloud. Look plug there. So we're going to look for um, the place to sell this. Now I'm heading over to Planetary, Planetary Services here. So I'm going to show you two different places. I'm going to show you this one. And if we sell it here, pick the car, um, carrier and medical supplies, we can sell it for 19.25, uh, but we can only sell a thousand units, which means we would have to wait then for uh, being able to sell more. So that's not good. Um, we don't want that. We don't want to be waiting around to sell the cargo because that's just going to add more and more time to it anyway. So I'm going to sell this slot anyway, this thousand a year because it's 19.25, which is the full price. So we might as well sell it just in case the next place doesn't have the same price. So let's do that. 
and then let's go over to the other place we need to go, which is the, um, uh, I forgot what it's called. The, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, I forgot. We'll see it in a minute. So, is it down there? I think it's across here. Um, yeah, the trade place, the trade and development place. So you gotta look at the signs all the time around here. Heading, you know, find out where you're going by reading the signs. So this is where we've gotta go here. Oh no, it's not. Uh, this is where we've gotta go here, this trade and development place here. So let's head into here. This place has the rounded screens, which is nice, so you don't get that glint and glare off it. So let's have a look what we've got here to sell. So we can sell the medical supplies at 19.25 and we can sell it all. And we can sell it all for 753,233. That's not the profit, that's how much we're selling the whole cargo for. So let's sell that. Got that. And then let's have a look at the Agricom. So the Agricom, we can sell at 27.50, which is again is a full price. And we can sell all of it again. Uh, all 55 units and we're going to sell that for 150,452 so let's sell that got that got that so that's that's it guys all the cargo sold now so that was a big run uh, was it worth it we don't know we'll find out I'm going to put up uh, the stats on the screen in a minute but the only reason I was able to get that cargo and cut a lot of time is because of the looking at the um, the journal and the commodity pricing that came up so uh, by the way if you need to know how much money you've got if you go to the more trader out there it breaks it down with the commas so you know how much you've got there um, but yeah the only reason I was able to cut a lot of the time down and do um, save time on the run was because of the commodity alert list so Let's have a look at this journal again. It's always worth checking it because it's not even at the top of the screen, so a lot of people will probably miss it. So you have to scroll down. It makes you feel like, oh, that's old news, but it's actually always updating. As you see there, it's not the same stuff that we had earlier. So look at that one there, um, Deakin's research outpost, again, overstock. So it's always worth having a check of that because you might find there's a little gem on that. So I'm gonna go through the numbers um, with the now on what we sold and the time it took to do it so uh, let's get into that now So let's get into the numbers, guys. So, large ship run with a Carrick. Uh, I bought the, the cargo for 771,604 Alpha UEC. I sold the cargo for 922,935, uh, and, and it took me 55 minutes. Uh, the profit I got, the actual profit, was 151,331. Uh, per 15 minutes because that's the time it took potential profit if I grabbed the medical equipment uh, at where I grabbed it from Microtech and sold it at Microtech it would have only took about 20 minutes so the potential profit could have been 159,600 uh, for 20 minutes with the medical equipment now if you do the same with the C2 the Carrick has just short of 500 where it's four and a half hundred units whereas the c2 has close to 700 it's i mean it's 696 or 69 something like that so it's close to 700 so it's almost double and so the potential profit if you had a c2 and run them medical equipment would have been 243,600 for a 20 minute run which is not bad if you can find that overstock like we did 
so the potential profit with a Carrick if I was running Laranite would have been 274,000 uh, and 56 per 20 minutes. And the potential profit if you run Laranite with a C2, which is the biggest ship for cargo hauling at the moment, would be 418,296 for about a 20 minute journey. But it's that is going to be very, very rare to do because there's so many people running that run that you would not get the full cargo load it would take it would just take so long to actually get it so you'd probably end up an hour and a half to get that um if not two hours and then there's a lot of danger in that all that time so that's the potential of that so like i said the time spent was 55 minutes uh, the pros of this is obviously bigger profits with the bigger ships but that's about it the cons are there's a lot of time spent if you don't get the run uh if you don't get lucky on a run uh, there's a big demand for the products, so um, you're going to get a lot of people doing the same thing. It's going to cost you a lot in fuel with the big ships. It's slow and sluggish. It's like driving a whale sometimes, and it's just it's longer to get into places, the bases, and that, and grab the the stuff, and then back into the city. You're going to be a big target. Uh, pirates are going to be after you. Griefers are going to be after you. You're gonna have so much. You can have so many issues, especially if you've got like half a million's worth of cargo. So you'll end up paying whatever ransoms and stuff like that, uh, and also um, potential big losses because if you crash or you do get blown up, then there's that potential. Uh, me and Kilthanis had eight hundred thousand um, credits worth of cargo on a ship um i think it was the connie taurus we had and we had over um we had a lot of etam on there it's almost full with etam and we picked up some bales at the orphanage when we went picking up some package when we went picking up the cargo and we put these little bales that was in there on the ship and they was probably worth about six credits each for those bales we picked two of them up and then when we got back to Worston, before we went down to sell the cargo, the security stopped us and they told us to turn down our engines and I panicked and didn't turn off my engines and they ended up shooting at us and we got killed and the ship blown up and we lost a whole lot. So there's the potential of losing a lot more as well with those big runs. So that's this run, guys. I'm still going to work on doing a big run proper if I can. I'm working my way up to get as many credits as I can to buy the Caterpillar and see what a run looks like with that, because that would be a good one. I'll walk around the ship and, and then I'm running a Caterpillar. So that's my target, and hopefully I'll put out a video on that. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, my opinion on the big cargo runs is I would rather do the medium one, because I could probably earn around the same. If you don't can't get the Laranite in one big hit, then there's the potential for the profit it just drops down to the same as a medium cargo ship i think we was earning in about an hour we was earning about 180 on a medium cargo ship anyway on the hull a just running etam so it's probably better to do that maybe um in my opinion um because in the last few days of doing this video we never ever caught a break of picking up that much laranite it was around 30 units 60 units or 90 units and that as far as we got we got to 200 units of, of waiting around and keep going buying it but then there was a glitch where we logged off and when we logged back on and i come off the ship and got off the ship the ship disappeared it was gone and everything and we had to claim the ship back and lost everything on it so there again it was like 200 thousand um if not more lost but actually it could have been um close to another 800,000 lost there with the ship just disappearing on that one bug. So there is that the, that risk there. So hopefully that helps you guys um, uh, and you liked that video. If you did like that video, don't forget to take that pointer, guys, and tickle that like button. It really does help us out. We're growing the community. Uh, we're doing quite well. We've got, I think, close to 500 subscribers now, almost at that community uh, tab to be um, unveiled. And we really do appreciate it, the comments and the discussions. Hopefully we can grow our community 
and um, we can you know chat in in the comment sections of the videos and and take on things on board that you guys suggest so yeah we hope you like that don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification guys it really does help us out and uh, yeah well guys we'll see you out in the verse